The Buddhist tradition gives a wide variety of descriptions of the Buddhist path to liberation. The classical description is the Noble Eightfold Path, described in the Sutta Pitaka. This description is preceded by even older descriptions in the Sutta Pitaka, and elaborated in the various Buddhist traditions. A number of other paths have been developed and described within the various traditions. Early Buddhism There are various expositions of the path to liberation in the early Buddhist texts. The following examples are drawn from the Pali Nikayas. Topic: The Noble Eightfold Path. The Noble Eightfold Path is widely known as the description of the Buddhist path. In the Sutta Pitaka, it is summed up as follows: The Blessed One said, "Now what, monks, is the Noble Eightfold Path?" Right view, right resolve, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. Topic: <inaudible> Alternate sequences. According to Rupert Gethin, Gethin, there is a definite affinity between the four jhanas and the bojhanga, the seven factors of awakening. According to Gethin, the early Buddhist texts have a broadly consistent vision regarding meditation practice. Various practices lead to the development of the factors of awakening, which are not only the means to, but also the constituents of awakening. According to Gethin, Satipatthana and Anapanasati are related to a formula that summarizes the Buddhist path to awakening as, "...abandoning the hindrances, establishing mindfulness, and developing the seven factors of awakening." This results in a "...heightened awareness." overcoming distracting and disturbing emotions which are not particular elements of the path to awakening but rather common disturbing and distracting emotions gethin further states that the exegetical literature is essentially true to the vision of meditation presented in the nikayas applying the perfect mindfulness stillness and lucidity of the jhanas to the contemplation of reality of the way things really are, as temporary and ever-changing. It is in this sense that, the jhana state has the transcendent, transforming quality of awakening. Tevija Sutta According to Vedder, a standard sequence of developments can be found in the Nikayas, which may predate the more stylized Four Noble Truths. For example the Tevija Sutta verse 40-75 Dika Nikaya 13 Verse 40, a Tathagata is born into the world, who makes his knowledge known to others. Verse 41, a householder listens to that truth, acquites faith, and goes forth from the household life into the homeless state. Verse 42, he passes a life self-restrained, good in his conduct, guarding the door of his senses, mindful and self-possessed. Verse 43 to 75, this results in the confidence of heart that results from the sense of goodness. The way in which he guards the doors of his senses. The way in which he is mindful and self-possessed. His habit of being content with little, of adopting simplicity of life. His conquest of the five hindrances, each with the explanatory simile. The joy and peace which, as a result of this conquest, fills his whole being. Topic. Kula Hathipadopama Sutta According to Rod Bucknell, another listing of path stages occurs in various places in the Majjhima Nikaya, and can be illustrated with the following list of stages from the Kula Hathipadopama Sutta Lesser Discourse on the Simile of the Elephant's Footprints. Dhamma, Sada, Pabhaja, a layman hears a Buddha teach the Dhamma, comes to have faith in him, and decides to take ordination as a monk. Sila, he adopts the moral precepts. Indriya Samvara, element of right effort, he practices guarding the six sense doors. Sati Sampajana, he practices mindfulness and self-possession, actually described as mindfulness of the body, Kayanasati. Jhana 1, he finds an isolated spot in which to meditate, purifies his mind of the hindrances, Nivarana, and attains the first rupa jhana. Jhana 2, he attains the second jhana. Jhana 3, he attains the third jhana. Jhana 4, he attains the fourth jhana. Pubhanivasanasati jnana, he recollects his many former existences in samsara. 
Satanam Kuttapapadanyana, he observes the death and rebirth of beings according to their karmas. Asavakayanyana, he brings about the destruction of the asavas cankers, and attains a profound realization of as opposed to mere knowledge about the Four Noble Truths. Vimutti, he perceives that he is now liberated, that he has done what was to be done. <laughs> Maha Asapura Sutta According to Bucknell, in this sutta the Buddha gives the following list of things that are to be done by recluses and Brahmins. Hiri Atapa, the recluse or Brahmin cultivates a sense of shame and fear of blame. Parasuta Kaya Samakara, he cultivates pure conduct of body. Parasuta Vachi Samakara, he cultivates pure conduct of speech. Parasuta Mano Samakara, he cultivates pure conduct of mind. Parasuta Ajiva, he cultivates pure livelihood. Indriya Samvara, he guards the six sense doors. Bojain Matanyuta, he exercises restraint in eating. Jagariya, he practices wakefulness. Sati Sampajana, he is mindful and self-possessed. First Jhana Second Jhana Third Jhana Fourth Jhana Pubhanavasanasati Jnana, he recollects his former existences. Satanam Kuttapapadanyana, he observes the death and rebirth of beings. Asavakayanyana, Vimutti, he destroys the asavas, realizes the Four Noble Truths, and perceives that he is liberated. Sekha Sutta According to Bucknell, in the Sekha Sutta the Buddha prompts Ananda to teach a learner's course to a group of disciples, which goes thus Sila Indriyasamvara Bojain Matanyuta, restraint in eating. Jagariya, wakefulness. Sada Sadhama, he develops the seven excellent qualities. Sada, Hiri, Atapa, Bahasuta, Variya, Sati, Panya, faith, sense of shame, fear of blame, hearing much, energy, mindfulness, insight. Jhana, he attains without difficulty the four jhanas. Pubhanivasana Sati Jnana, he recollects his former existences. Satanam Kuttapapata Jnana, he observes the death and rebirth of beings. Asavakaya jnana, vimutti, he destroys the de-savas and perceives that he is liberated. Anupabhakatha Another formula is Anupabhakatha, graduated talk, in which the Buddha talks on generosity dana, virtue sila, heaven saga, danger of sensual pleasure dineva, and renunciation nekama. When the listener is prepared by these topics, the Buddha then delivers the teaching special to the Buddhas, the Four Noble Truths Katari Ariya Sakani, by which arises the spotless immaculate vision of the Dhamma. In the Tibetan Lamrim teachings, the Bodhisattva path, with its training of the six perfections, is added to this formula. Athakavaga <laughs> The Athakavaga, one of the oldest books of the Sutta Pitaka, contained in the Sutta Nipata, does not give a clear-cut goal such as nirvana, but describes the ideal person. This ideal person is especially characterized by sati purity and santi calmness. Commentaries on the Athakavaga, namely the Mahanidesa and the commentary by Buddhaghosa, show the development of Buddhist ideas over time. Both commentaries place the Athakavaga in their frame of reference, giving an elaborated system of thought far more complicated than the Athakavaga itself. <laughs> Theravada tradition <laughs> Path to awakening In the Pali commentaries, the term Bodhipakya Dhamma is used to refer to seven sets of such qualities regularly mentioned by the Buddha throughout the Pali Canon. Within these seven sets of enlightenment qualities, there is a total of 37 individual qualities Satatimsa Bodhipakya Dhamma. Nonetheless, the seven sets of Bodhipakya Dhammas are themselves first collated, enumerated and referenced in the Sutta Pitaka and Abhidhamma Pitaka, four establishments of mindfulness Kataro Satipatthana, Mindfulness of the body Mindfulness of feelings Mindfulness of mental states 
Mindfulness of mental qualities Dhamanupasana, S. Dharmanupasthana Four right exertions, efforts Kataro Samapadana Exertion for the preventing of unskillful states to arise Exertion for the abandoning of the already arisen unskillful states Exertion for the arising of skillful states Exertion for the sustaining and increasing of arisen skillful states for bases of magical, mental, supernatural power Kataro Idipada. Will Chanda, S. Chanda Energy, effort Varia, S. Varia. Consciousness Sita, S. Sita. Examination Vimamsa or Vimasa, S. Mimamsa Five spiritual faculties Pansa Indriya Conviction Sada, S. Sraddha Energy, effort Varia, S. Varia Mindfulness Sati, S. Smirti Unification Samadhi, S. Samadhi Wisdom Panya, S. Prajna Five strengths Pansa Bala Conviction Sada, S. Sraddha Energy, effort Varia, S. Varia Mindfulness Sati underscore Buddhism, S. Smirti Unification Samadhi, S. Samadhi Wisdom Panya, S. Prajna Seven factors of enlightenment Mindfulness, Sati, S. Smirti. Investigation, Dhamma Vikaya, S. Dharma Pravakaya. Energy, Effort, Varia, S. Varia. Joy, Pity, S. Pretty. Tranquility, Pasadi, S. Prasrabdi. Unification, Samadhi, S. Samadhi. Equanimity, Upeka, S. Upeksa. Noble Eightfold Path. Right Understanding, Samaditi, S. Samyag Dursti. Right intention, Sama Sankapa, S Samyak Samkalpa. Right speech, Sama Vaka, S Samyag Vak. Right action, Sama Kamanta, S Samyak Karmanta. Right livelihood, Sama Ajiva, S Samyag Ajiva. Right effort, Sama Vyama, S Samyag Vyayama. Right mindfulness, Sama Sati, S Samyak Smirti. Right unification, Sama Samadhi, S Samyak Samadhi. Topic. Path of purification The classical outline of the Theravada path to liberation are the seven purifications, as described by Buddhaghosa in the Visuddhimagga. These purifications are Purification of conduct Purification of mind Purification of view Purification by overcoming doubt Purification by knowledge and vision of what is path and not path Purification by knowledge and vision of the course of practice Knowledge of contemplation of rise and fall Knowledge of contemplation of dissolution Knowledge of appearance as terror Knowledge of contemplation of danger Knowledge of contemplation of dispassion Knowledge of desire for deliverance Knowledge of contemplation of reflection Knowledge of equanimity about formations Conformity knowledge Purification by knowledge and vision Change of lineage The first path and fruit the second path and fruit The third path and fruit The fourth path and fruit The purification by knowledge and vision is the culmination of the practice, in four stages leading to liberation. The emphasis in this system is on understanding the three marks of existence, dukkha, anatta, anicca. This emphasis is recognizable in the value that is given to vipassana over samatha, especially in the contemporary vipassana movement. Topic. Bodhisattva path Mahayana Buddhism is based principally upon the path of a bodhisattva. Mahayana Buddhism encourages everyone to become bodhisattvas and to take the bodhisattva vows. With these vows, one makes the promise to work for the complete enlightenment of all sentient beings by following the bodhisattva path. The path can be described in terms of the six perfections or in terms of the five paths and ten bhumis. Topic. Six Paramitas The six Paramitas are the means by which Mahayana practitioners actualize their aspiration to attain complete enlightenment for the benefit of all. 
In Mahayana Buddhism, the Prajnaparamita Sutras, the Lotus Sutra SKT, Sadharma Pundarika Sutra, and a large number of other texts, list the six perfections as follows Dana Paramita, generosity, the attitude of giving Sila Paramita, virtue, morality, discipline, proper conduct Kasanti Paramita, patience, tolerance, forbearance, acceptance, endurance Virya Paramita, energy, diligence, vigor, effort Dhyana Paramita, one-pointed concentration, contemplation Prajna Paramita, wisdom, insight Topic. Five paths and ten bhumis Topic. Five paths The Mahayana commentary The Abhisamayalamkara presents a progressive formula of five paths Pankamarga, Wiley Tibetan Lam Lnga. The five paths are The path of accumulation Sambara Marga, Wiley Tibetan, Chogs Lam. Persons on this path Possess a strong desire to overcome suffering, either their own or others Renunciate the worldly life the path of preparation or application, Prayoga Marga, Wiley Tibetan, Sbyor Lam. Persons on this path start practicing meditation, have analytical knowledge of emptiness. The path of seeing, Darsana Marga, Wiley Tibetan, M Thong Lam. Bumi One. Persons on this path practice profound concentration meditation on the nature of reality, realize the emptiness of reality corresponds to stream entry and the first bodhisattva bhumi the path of meditation bhavana marga wiley tibetan sgom lam bhumi 2 to 7 persons on this path purify themselves and accumulate wisdom the path of no more learning or consummation asaksa marga wiley tibetan mi slab pai lam or thar phian pai lam bhumi 8 to 10 persons on this path have completely purified themselves Topic. Ten Bhumis The Bodhisattva Bhumis, Enlightenment Being Grounds, Levels, are subcategories of the five paths. The Sanskrit term Bhumi literally means ground or foundation, since each stage represents a level of attainment and serves as a basis for the next one. Each level marks a definite advancement in one's training that is accompanied by progressively greater power and wisdom. The Avatamsaka Sutra refers to the following ten bhumis The very joyous SKT, Paramudita, in which one rejoices at realizing a partial aspect of the truth The stainless SKT. Vimala, in which one is free from all defilement The luminous SKT. Prabhakari, in which one radiates the light of wisdom The radiant SKT. Archishmati, in which the radiant flame of wisdom burns away earthly desires. The difficult to cultivate SKT. Sudarjaya, in which one surmounts the illusions of darkness, or ignorance as the middle way. The manifest SKT. Abhimukhi, in which supreme wisdom begins to manifest. The Ganafar SKT. Durham Gama, in which one rises above the states of the two vehicles. The immovable SKT. Achala, in which one dwells firmly in the truth of the middle way and cannot be perturbed by anything. The good intelligence SKT. Sadhumati, in which one preaches the law freely and without restriction. The cloud of doctrine SKT. Dharmamega, in which one benefits all sentient beings with the law Dharma, just as a cloud sends down rain impartially on all things. Topic. Tibetan Buddhism. Topic. Lam Rim Lam Rim describes the stages of the path. Song Kappa mentions three essential elements The aspiration for awakening Bodhicitta, the aspiration to attain this for all living beings Insight into emptiness Topic. Anuttara Yoga Tantras In the highest class of Tantra, two stages of practice are distinguished, namely generation and completion. 
In some Buddhist tantras, both stages can be practiced simultaneously, whereas in others, one first actualizes the generation stage before continuing with the completion stage practices. Topic: <laughs> Generation stage. In the first stage of generation, one engages in deity yoga. One practices oneself in the identification with the meditational Buddha or deity by visualizations, until one can meditate single-pointedly on being the deity. Four purities In the generation stage of deity yoga, the practitioner visualizes the four purities. Tibetan, Yang Su Dag Pa Bzhi, Yang's Dag Bzhi, which define the principal tantric methodology of deity yoga that distinguishes it from the rest of Buddhism. Seeing one's body as the body of the deity, seeing one's environment as the pure land or mandala of the deity, perceiving one's enjoyments as bliss of the deity, free from attachment, performing one's actions only for the benefit of others, bodhicitta motivation, altruism. Topic. Completion stage In the next stage of completion, the practitioner can use either the path of method or the path of liberation .At the path of method the practitioner engages in kundalini yoga practices. These involve the subtle energy system of the body of the chakras and the energy channels. The wind energy is directed and dissolved into the heart chakra, where after the Mahamudra remains, and the practitioner is physically and mentally transformed. At the path of liberation the practitioner applies mindfulness, a preparatory practice for Mahamudra or Dzogchen, to realize the inherent emptiness of everything that exists. Four Yogas of Mahamudra Mahamudra literally means great seal or great symbol the name refers to the way one who has realized mahamudra mudra refers to the fact that each phenomenon appears vividly and maha refers to the fact that it is beyond concept imagination and projection mahamudra is sometimes divided into four distinct phases known as the four yogas of mahamudra they are as follows one pointedness simplicity free from complexity or not elaborate one taste Non-meditation, the state of not holding to either an object of meditation nor to a meditator. Nothing further needs to be meditated upon or cultivated at this stage. These stages parallel the four yogas of Dzogchen Sem. The four yogas of Mahamudra have also been correlated with the Mahayana five Bhumi paths. <laughs> Zen Although the Rinzai Zen tradition emphasizes sudden awakening over the study of scripture, in practice several stages can be distinguished. A well-known example are the ten ox herding pictures which detail the steps on the path. Topic. Sudden and gradual Once the dichotomy between sudden and gradual was in place, it defined its own logic and rhetorics, which are also recognizable in the distinction between Kaodung Soto and Lin Ji Rinze Chan. But it also led to a "...sometimes bitter and always prolix sectarian controversy between later Chan and Hua Yen exegetes." In the Huayan classification of teachings, the sudden approach was regarded inferior to the perfect teaching of Hua Yen. Gaifeng Zongmi, fifth patriarch of Hua Yen and Chan Master, devised his own classification to counter this subordination. Gaifeng Zongmi also softened the edge between sudden and gradual. In his analysis, sudden awakening points to seeing into one's true nature, but is to be followed by a gradual cultivation to attain Buddhahood. Chinil, a 12th century Korean Son master, followed Zongmi, and also emphasized that insight into our true nature is sudden, but is to be followed by practice to ripen the insight and attain full Buddhahood. To establish the superiority of the Chan teachings, Chinil explained the sudden approach as not pointing to mere emptiness, but to suchness or the Dharmadhatu. This is also the standpoint of the contemporary Sanbo Kyodan, according to whom Kensho is at the start of the path to full enlightenment. This gradual cultivation is described by Chan master Sheng Yen as follows Chan expressions refer to enlightenment as seeing your self nature. But even this is not enough. After seeing your self-nature, you need to deepen your experience even further and bring it into maturation. 
You should have enlightenment experience again and again and support them with continuous practice. Even though Chan says that at the time of enlightenment, your outlook is the same as of the Buddha, you are not yet a full Buddha. Topic Rinzai Zen In Rinzai, insight into true nature is to be followed by gradual cultivation. This is described in teachings such as the Three Mysterious Gates of Linji, and the Four Ways of Knowing of Hakuin. Topic Soto Zen Although Soto emphasizes Shikantaza, just sitting, this tradition too had description of development within the practice. This is described by Tozen, who described the five ranks of enlightenment. Topic see also Mushi Dokugo topic Notes topic References topic Book references topic Web references topic Sources topic Further reading Buswell, Robert E. Jr., Jamello, Robert M. Editors, 1994, Paths to Liberation. The Marga and Its Transformations in Buddhist Thought, Delhi, Mutalal Banarsidass Publisher SCS 1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link, topic External links Seven Stages of Purification Mahasi Sayadaw, The Progress of Insight Visudhanyana Katha Ve. Matara Sri Nanarama, The Seven Stages of Purification and the Insight Knowledge Slam Rim Karen Vallam, Lam. RIM outlines creation and completion Jamgon Control Lodro The, The Essential Points of Creation and Completion, Part 1 Jamgon Control Lodro The, The Essential Points of Creation and Completion, Part 2 Mahamudra Mahamudra Meditation Guide